Hey guys, this is how to make a bowling alley for your doll. So first you'll need a small box, such as a pencil box, some cream eggs, printer paper, paint and a paintbrush, scissors, a marker and a pencil, glue, play-doh, cardboard, and cardboard. So let's get started. So first you're gonna want to take a piece of cardboard that the box fits on in the end. Then you're gonna want to take your pencil and draw out how big you want the box to be. And then once you have that box, you're gonna wanna use your scissors and cut out a little square right there. Okay, so now with the piece of cardboard that fits, you're gonna wanna do fold the end over. Make sure it touches the bottom and fold it over and glue it down. And you're going to want to do this with both sides. Sorry for the no noise in the background too. So, right, once you do that, come back. So I ended up having to take one. So I was kind of weak. So, after that, you're going to want to take your box and tape or glue it to the end like that. And then that, because that'll be the alley. And then the ball will be able to go down. So yeah, I'm just going to want to glue that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now once you have something that sort of looks like this, you're going to start wanting to make your board. So you're just going to want to use your pencil and draw the shape, sort of like this. I guess you can be creative and do whatever you want then. So I'm just going to do this with paper so I can make it. So yeah, I'm going to cut these out, and then, yeah. So once you have the pattern for all of them, and I got, I'm just using six, you're going to want to take a piece of cardboard, glue them all onto that there, and then cut them out, just to make, give, make them thicker. So yeah. So now I have my um, pins. I just decorated them. There's like a little stripe on them. And so once you've done that, you can decorate them. So I have to do these couple. And I just did six pins and I cut them out. Glued them on the cardboard. So yeah. And then, yeah. So after I've done those, I stuck my pins in a piece of plasticine. Plasticine will dry. So, um, yeah, I can always knock them over. So, the next thing I'm going to do is make the deck. So you need some play-doh. And you're going to want to roll a small ball of play-doh. So now I have my ball of play-doh. I'm going to take a pencil and poke three things like that. And then once it dries, you will have a nice bowling ball. So next I'm going to paint mine just on the box. And maybe down this alley do. Alley too. I might print out some wood from patterning. Blender. So yeah, I'm going to paint it. And I'll be right so I painted it, kind of with a peanut buttery color, I'd say. And now I'm going to print off the computer just some, like, a wood pattern. Tape it and glue it on here. And probably here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I'll probably just keep it the way it is, because it's kind of got some sparkly stuff on it, so, yeah. Just like the bowling thing, the bowling alley is drying, drying, and I'm making a bowling project for an Easter basket with chocolate eggs. I'm going to be needing a ball cap, tissue paper, some chocolate wrappers, scissors, ribbon, and glue. So I'm going to get started on this. So I'm going to take a small square tissue paper, stuff that inside, and wrap it. Put it down. And you're going to want to 
cut off some extra, and I glue it on the bottom, just like that. So now I have this. So next I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it in half. So then you're going to take your ribbon, glue it down in the bottom, and then I'm going to take my wrapper of my chocolate egg. I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper. I'm going to roll that tissue paper into a ball and put the egg wrapping around it. You can repeat that process with more candies. And there you go. And then once you've done that, you have a nice little um, Easter basket. So there you go. And then, once this is dry, I'm going to put some wood here. Well, some fake wood. Just printed pattern. So, yeah.